an ode to Joseph Shabalala, a man many called a true son of the soil. The documentary Music Is My Life was filmed over five years and takes the audience on the odyssey of his life from humble beginnings in rural KwaZulu-Natal to his global success and his peaceful departure in 2020. The film narrates how a young cattle herder from a rural village in Ladysmith in KwaZulu-Natal Midlands came to perform on a global stage. With his unique sound is Katamiya, a South African Zulu a cappella singing style. It features previously unseen archive and exclusive interviews with Joseph and the Shabalala family, stars like Paul Simon, Stevie Wonder, Dolly Parton and Reverend Desmond Tutu. Ladysmith Black Mambazo have released over 50 studio albums and won numerous awards including five Grammys. The crew says the nomination recognizes the musical genius Shabalala was. This is really, really huge. But for us, and for me mostly, it was it was very important to take uh, the story of Bab Shabalala to the world, you know, and to let the world see this giant that he was. Um, I think we don't celebrate our own that much um, as South Africans. And for for me, it was like, we need to, I mean, Carolyn can tell you, I kept on saying, people need to see this man. They need to see the giant that he is. Um, so to be acknowledged already feels like huge. And if we win, which I hope we will, it'll be just like, yeah, it'll stamp the, the truth, which is Lady Smith, Black Mambazo have always led the way. The film is nominated in the Best Feature Film category. To nominate us as the South African entrant is an incredible accolade. And every time, you know, we haven't been able to tell our family and friends, we were only allowed to tell them about a week and a bit ago uh, before it was official. So you can imagine um, even just having to sit on such amazing news but when you tell people about it, they assume we're in the foreign film category. They assume we are in the documentary category. No, we are in the best feature film category. And I've always held the view that a documentary is a film. So finally, too, that view of the world has been affirmed. Shabalala's son says his father would have been proud. It fulfills uh, my father's dream because his vision was always uh, for them, for this music to be able to be promoted uh, all around the world. So this is one of the tools that is helping uh, pushing that vision of our father. Uh, we know we have won the Grammys, but this is something uh, different that is going to reach uh, other people which, who are not uh, maybe in the music industry. And the dream of promoting South Africa uh, the people of South Africa, the music, the indigenous music of South Africa is fulfilled with this uh, film being, uh, having a chance to be nominated for the Oscars. The band used their music during the height of apartheid to preach the message of peace and harmony and touched people around the globe while promoting South African culture. The documentary has also been selected for several local and international film festivals in the United States, New Zealand, Australia and Spain, among others. The official nominations for the 96th Annual Academy Awards will be announced on the 23rd of January 2024. For SABC News, I'm Jade Paulser in Durban.